Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I have some pickups that I got over the last couple of days when I went to visit some family up in Pennsylvania. I have some uh, Dollar Tree pickups, I have some thrift store pickups, I have one Dollar General, and then I got mail for when I got back from Best Buy and Hamilton Book. So I'm just gonna dive right on in. So I'm gonna do the Dollar Tree first because that's most of what I found. Um, Still not a lot, but a small handful here. So, I finally found pennants with Tony Todd and Michael Rooker. Um, you know, I'm, everyone's finding this one, but I didn't find it around here. Uh, we have uh, Flu. This is a Korean film from 2013. It's about, you know, a deadly virus going around. And there's this human trafficker. He's infected with an unknown virus, and then it just goes to hell from there. This was a weird one to find, but I'm not the only one that found it. Um, Grad Night with Coolio. This is a comedy from 2004, I believe. Uh, it was released in 2005, but I looked it up on IMDb, so, yeah, he, yep. got an Olive Films release here of The Cardinal from 1936, it's in a black and white film, uh, not familiar with, I think the director, Sinclair Hill, I think I've heard of him before, but I've never seen the movie, um, we got survival games here, from ITN. It's a Russian sci-fi film. It's pretty interesting. I like the I like that artwork though. A uh, vampire movie here called Blood Immortal from 2019. Another ITN release. Uh, the only MGM movie that I picked up that I thought looked decent, decent cast, and that is The Claim. With Wes Bentley, Mila Jovovich, Natasha Kinski, uh, Peter Mullen, and Sarah Polly. This is from 2000. It's two hours long. It's some sort of like uh, action thriller. Uh, looked interesting. And then the Blu rays, I got four here. Uh, got a couple anime. So I fa finally found Satellite Cow and Milk girl or satellite ca girl and milk cow sorry i don't know why i messed that up uh digimon uh try coexistence and this i know this is an old title but i found the double on a blu-ray and then i found shadow land so that is it for the dollar tree that's like four four different ones i went to uh, the only, I uh, only went to one Dollar General, but there's like a lot of them up there. And I picked up, this is an upgrade for me, I have the DVD, so I got this digi book here of The Killing Fields. This is from 1984, so Ken from Mid-Level Media, it's another 1984 film that you may or may not have in your list. Uh, this is 142 minutes from, like I said, 1984. Uh forget who's in this film though because it doesn't tell me on the back anyway there's that uh, I went to a few thrift stores and a few like antique stores so on the way back we stopped at a community aid thrift store really really good thrift store everything's clean organized beautiful they have a big VHS section back there. Uh, DVDs, unfortunately, was only one little small table, but I only left with one title. And this is uh, the Mask animated series. Uh, this is two episodes from uh, season one. That's only about 45 minutes, but I, I, mean, I remember watching this on TV as a kid. It's got some good, uh, the artwork on the disc is the same as the cover, but I thought that was cool. I like the green case too. I uh, found this at 
a antique shop in downtown where my grandparents live. Um, this is an Australian release, but it's a region, all region DVD. Stephen Summers film called Catch Me If You Can. Uh, I got it because uh, it has M. M. Emmett Walsh and Jeffrey Lewis in it. And it's like a, a uh, romantic thriller of some sort. So, or I don't think it's a thriller. I think it's just a romantic drama. No, I think it's a it's a thriller because it has something to do with law and stuff, suspense. So yeah. All right, so I went to a Goodwill, picked up a couple titles here. I got two DVDs and one VHS. Uh, I don't usually come across this title very often. I wish it was the Blu-ray, but because the Blu-ray is really out of print, so I got Jade. I have this on VHS, so that's an upgrade. And then I found a Bill Murray film from 1984, I believe. Yeah, 1984. I don't know if you did this before or after Ghostbusters, but this is The Razor's Edge. With, uh, I don't really recognize Teresa Russell and, and uh, Denholm Elliott, but Catherine Hicks is in this film as well, and so is James Keach. And then the only VHS tape that I got was worth picking up was um, Star Crystal. I like that alien artwork on the cover there. And on the back, that guy's creepy. <laughs> So that's it for Goodwill. So I got some Best Buy here. They had the buy two or more, get 20% off. I only got two. Both upgrades for me. Um, so I finally picked up Eyes of a Stranger. I love this film. It's, it's crazy what happens in the film, but definitely love it. And then uh, I think this was Jennifer Jason Lee's first film. So love her. And then I got the Steelbook of Heathers. Love this film as well. I got the old Anchor Bay Blu-ray. So glad to have the uh, RLJE uh, Steelbook two disc set. It has over two hours of special features. There are your special features. And then from Hamilton Book, I got four Blu-rays. Four Blu-rays. Um, this is an upgrade as well. I have this on DVD. So I got, this is the old copy of um, House on the Edge of the Park. I know I just got a re-release from Severn, but I'd rather just have this one for now. Crazy movie. Finally upgraded my DVD of uh, Surf Nazis Must Die from Troma. And then I got Another Scorpion releasing film from 1980. This is a creature feature called Island Claws. This is about, um, uh, what is this? Uh, oh, it's written by Rico Browning. That's cool. Um, something to do with lab testing gone wrong and mutating, I guess, sea life. I don't know. I just thought it looked interesting. And then I got this uh, one from Kino. It was like, like $8. Yeah. Uh, the cast sold me on this one. It is uh, Tiger by the Tail, which has uh, Tippi Hedren, Christopher George, uh, Dean Jagger, and Charo. So this is from 1970, 99 minutes. I like Tippi Hedren. So, okay, to pick that up. So, that's everything that I got from Best Buy and Hamilton Book. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a like, subscribe, and follow uh, my brother, Y2K Basis 19, as well. He has some good content, he picks up a lot of good stuff. So, um,. Other than that, I will catch you guys probably later today or tomorrow. I'm going out later to see what, see if I can find anything else. So, take care.